Hi friends, I am Shokumar Agrawal, your English teacher. Today we are going to study a very beautiful poem of William Shakespeare. The title of the poem is All the World is a Stage. All the World is a Stage. Let us see something about William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was a very famous dramatist of the Elizabethan age. Elizabethan age. He was born on 23rd of April in 1564 and he was died on the same day in 1616. Shakespeare wrote about 37 plays and 154 sonnets. All the world is a stage is a very beautiful poem and before going to study this poem I would like to read the poem for you. So let us read the poem first. All the world is a stage and all men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts. His acts being seven ages. At first the infant mewing and pucking in the nurse's arms. Then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face creeping like a snail unwillingly to school. And then the lover sighing like furnace with a woeful balance made to his mistress eyebrow. Then a soldier, then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the power, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, Seeking the bubble reputation, even in the cannon's mouth, and then the justice in fair round belly, with good cap and lined, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wide swords and modern instances. And so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon with spectacles on nose and a pouch on the side. His youthful hose well served a world too wide for his shrunk shang and his bag manly voice turning again towards childish trouble pipes and whistles in his sound last scene of all that ends this strange eventful history in second childishness and mere oblivion sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste and sans everything. Friends, all the world is a stage. 
this is a beautiful poem in which Shakespeare tries to say that all the world is a stage. He compares this world with a stage. And he says that we people, we men and women are nothing but the players on this stage. We are the actors. We play our parts, we exit from the stage. We play our parts and we exit from the stage. As the actors have their entrances and exits in the same manner, we people have our own entrances and exits. We are born in this world. And then, after playing our roles, we exit from the world. Birth is our entrance and death is our exit. And in between these two places, in between these two events, in between birth and the death, we play seven parts. Do you know which seven roles, which seven ages, which seven parts we play on this stage of the world? The first part, my friends, is the infant. Infant is the first stage of man's life. In this stage, this infant is dependent on others. Secondly, in this stage or in this age or in this role, the infant pucks and mules in his nurse's arms. Okay? This is the first stage. Let us come to the second stage. Schoolboy is the second stage of men and women who come on this world stage. Whining schoolboy is the second stage of human life. This schoolboy goes to school with a shining morning face with his school bag on his back. But he is whining. He does not go to the school willingly. He goes to the school unwillingly. He walks to the school like a snail. Okay? So, he goes to his school with heavy feet. Let us come to the third role, the third part, the third age, the third stage of man's life. It is lover. In the third stage of man's life, the man is a lover. His heart uh, sighs like a furnace. Lover sings woeful songs, sad songs. He sings woeful songs. He sings these songs for his beloved. He makes poems on his beloved's eyebrows and most importantly he is full of promises and strange oaths. Let us come to the fourth stage. Soldier. Soldier is the fourth stage of man's life. A soldier is full of energy. He is full of oaths. He is jealous in honor. He thinks that he should be given due honor, due respect everywhere. He is energetic. So, he is very sudden and quick in quarrels. 
one more characteristic of soldier is that he is bearded like a pard. The soldier is always after bubble reputation. He does not think of eternity. He is always after bubble reputation. Let us come to the fifth stage, justice. Justice is the fifth stage of man's life. In this stage, his belly is round and his eyes are severe. He, his beard is having formal cut. The justice is full of modern instances. He tries to prove his viewpoint. This is the most important characteristic of justice. The sixth stage is the stage of slippered pantaloon. An absolutely careless person. This is the sixth stage of man's life. He is in slippers. He is lean. There are spectacles on his nose. And there is a pouch on his side, hanging on his side. In this stage, his voice becomes manly. His voice becomes powerful. And the last stage. Now we are going to going towards the end of the last stage of life. And what is the last stage of life? It's old age. In this old age, my good friends, there is loss of teeth. Man suffers from loss of eyesight. Man suffers from the loss of taste. He behaves like a child. In old age, remember, in old age man behaves like a child. He does not listen to anybody. He sticks to his viewpoints. And that is why old age is called the second childhood. Old age is called the second childhood. My good friends, in this way, Shakespeare, in a very beautiful manner, in a very lively manner, in a very convincing manner, in a very picturesque manner, he has tried to describe these seven ages or seven stages or seven roles, say seven parts of man's life. Okay. Uh, we have read the poem. We have tried to understand the poem. We have seen we have seen that there are seven roles a man plays in his lifetime. These roles being the first one is infant, the second is whining schoolboy, the third is a lover, soldier, the fourth role, soldier, the fourth part, and then comes the justice, the fifth role, the sixth role, the sixth stage in man's life is pantaloon. And the seventh and the last stage in man's life is the old age, which is also called as a, the second childhood. Okay. Uh, after completing this poem, let us come to a quiz. I have some questions for you. I have some questions for you. And you are supposed to answer these questions either in a sentence or in a word but very quickly. So I have prepared a quiz for you. 
So, are you ready for this quiz? My first question is to you. The whole world is compared to what? And your answer is? Yes, obviously, your answer is the whole world is compared to a stage. How many stages? Number two. How many stages of man's life are described by Shakespeare? There are seven. What is the third stage of man's life? Obviously, lover. Why is the old age called the second childhood? Because in this age, the man, in old age, the man behaves like a child. There, he, there is loss of teeth, there is loss of eyesight, there is loss of taste. So, this age is like the infant's age. That is why old age is called the second childhood. Now the sixth question. Whose life is full of promises and strange oaths? Lover's life is full of promises and strange oaths. Who pucks and mules in his nurse's arms? Infant. The eighth question. What is the title of the poem? All the world is a stage. Who wrote this poem? William Shakespeare. Tenth question. Who was William Shakespeare? Answer. William Shakespeare was a very famous Elizabethan dramatist. Eleventh question. What are the two meanings of the word stage? Stage means the stage that we see when a drama is being played. And stage means a stepping in one's life. That is also called stage. The next question, question number 12. What do you understand by entrances and exits? By entrance we mean birth and by exit we mean death. Whose beard is like a pard? It is of the soldier's beard. And the last question, question number 14. Whose beard is of formal cut? The beard of justice is of formal cut. Okay friends. So there were 14 questions in your quiz. And I hope you understood those questions. Now I am proceeding further towards some technical questions. Friends, this is a poem. And a poem has a figurative language. Poem has a figurative language. Figurative language means the language of poem is decorated. And this decoration is called in simple words or in technical language figures of speech figures of speech so in this poem what is the figure of speech which is used in the first two lines just remember the first two lines all the world is a stage all the world is a stage world is compared to a stage and all men and women mere players. So men and women in this world are compared to the players or actors and actresses in the drama. So there are two examples of comparison. This comparison is a direct comparison and that is why this figure of speech is called metaphor. So William Shakespeare has used metaphor in this poem. There are two instances, there are two examples of metaphor. In the first line there is one example 
and in the second line there is one example in the first line in the first line of the poem the world is compared to a stage and in the second line of the poem men and women in this world are compared to actors and actresses on the stage okay so with this i conclude my lecture before going to say a good bye to you i must bring some certain things to your notice that shakespeare was born on 23rd of april 1564 and he died on 23rd of april in 1616 he was an elizabethan poet he was a poet a dramatist among his plays there is a variety he wrote dramas he wrote comedies he wrote roman plays he wrote history plays variety of plays he wrote have you ever heard the titles of his plays othello romeo and juliet macbeth king lear hamlet these were the world famous tragedies of william shakespeare seen as you like it is a very famous comedy and in the seventh scene of that comedy a play song appears and the play song is prescribed as a poem for our study and in this lecture we have studied that poem what was the name of our poem all the world is a stage friends this is a beautiful play song and it appears in the seventh scene of shakespearean play as you like it let us have a recap we have seen five to six things number 1 we have learned something about shakespeare who was shakespeare when did he appear what did he write and some other things about shakespeare we have seen the poem in this poem as we have seen he has described seven ages of man's life these ages once again i am going to tell you the first age is infant the second age is whining school boy whining school boy you know but whining school boy what do you mean by whining school boy i mean he is not able he is not willing to go to he is not willing to go to school and his parents are forcing him to go to school that is why and he is not willing that is why he is whining school boy third age is the age of lover the fourth role he plays in his life is the role of soldier soldier means what soldier means not a soldier that we see on our uh, nations borders soldier means he is confident he thinks that he is he always thinks that he is right so this confidence because of this confidence we call him the soldier so fourth stage is soldier the fifth stage is justice the sixth one is pantaloon and the last one the seventh age is called old age and old age is called the second childhood thank you and one more thing my friends i have written a book of poems uh, the title of this book is a prayer to my god the man this book is a book on humanitarian view point of man that we should have to develop throughout our life so this book is available on amazon the link is given in the description box once again remember the title of the book a prayer to my god the man